Hello and welcome. My name is Maggie. I am the Program Manager of DAXA, Disability Advocacy and Complaints Service of South Australia. I am here with some guests today to talk to you about the Disability Royal Commission and what services are available to support you. So DAXA, Disability Advocacy and Complaints Service SA, offers free, confidential and independent disability advocacy. And I'm going to explain to you what that means. So DAXA doesn't charge for services. We are a statewide service that can visit you anywhere in South Australia. And we're an independent advocacy agency and not affiliated with a disability service provider or any other type of service provider like NDIS. That's really important when we talk about championing disability rights. So when we talk about disability advocacy, we mean speaking or acting on behalf of the person to champion their rights. And when we talk about disability advocacy, we see that through a disability rights frame. So that's the aim to tailor our advocacy approach, help you resolve disability related issues and things that are important to you. Some examples of things that we've done in the past is matters relating to education, health, discrimination and abuse. And that's particularly relevant when we talk about a disability royal commission. So we are funded by the Department of Social Services to provide independent advocacy to help you to engage with the Disability Royal Commission. The Royal Commission is the biggest and highest form of public inquiry in Australia. It's a way for us to look back on the past, ask questions about what has happened for people with disability in order to forge a better future that protects and champions disability rights. So this Disability Royal Commission is asking you, if we have to look and uncover where disability abuse, neglect, violence and exploitation has happened and the experiences of people with disability, where do you think we should look? And we can assist you with that because we are funded to help you to make things called submissions. Now submissions can take various forms and basically a submission is how you choose to contribute your experiences to Darcy so that they can forge a better way forward to champion and protect disability rights and to learn about the experiences of abuse, neglect, violence and exploitation of people with disability. Now you can submit um, information and experiences about a whole range of things that are laid out in what's called the terms of rights. They're very broad and they relate to matters that I mentioned about education, health, discrimination, all sorts of things. Now you can make your submission to the DRC in a way that suits you and DAXA can assist you. Some people come to DAXA wanting to write their submissions. Some people have wanted to talk to the DRC over the phone. Some people want to submit artwork and videos and we can assist you to engage in the DRC in a way that is meaningful and important to you. Now, we're excited today to have Elliot, one of our staff members, talk to you a little about his experience, both uh, being a person with lived experience of disability and also engaging um, in disability advocacy. And we're very proud for him to be our newest staff member. So I will hand it over to Elliot to talk about his experiences. Go for it, Elliot. Hey guys, my name is uh, Elliot William Manor. I'm a 32 year old Australian um, Aboriginal man. Oh, oh, this whole brain injury journey of me of mine, sorry, began on April 12th, 2009, where I was admitted to Alice Springs Hospital after a car accident. I had 26 broken bones. Uh, Dad calls me John West because I white lined twice on them and St. Peter threw me back each time. After seven weeks in ICU, uh, four weeks in the coma, I had started walking freely. Well, as much as a person who fractured their spine or cord could. After ICU, I was then admitted to Alice Springs Re Rehabilitation Hospital full-time for about eight to 10 months. Uh, then um, I met the Birch team where I did 18 months of rehab with them. Towards the end of my, uh, towards the end of my, uh, my journey with um, Birch, I was then, I was asked by my speech pathologist, what do you want to do now? So I then thought, well, I'm young enough. So I decided to go back to school and figure out what to do after that. I was enrolled at TAFE SA Curry Street Campus where it took me three years to relearn and complete my literacy and numeracy uh, all over again. I went to uh, advocacy uh, because I needed help uh, to be heard. I had a positive experience with advocacy. I, will, I, will, I found it particularly useful because I felt my voice was being heard and my matter was dealt with in a respectful and confidential manner. I could uh, recommend, I would recommend advocacy for people 
wanting to do a submission for, for the Disability Royal Commission because I found it very empowering and it made me a much stronger as a person mentally after everything I've been through. I would like to uh, give hope to let people know uh, that there, there is a positive life to be lived with disability and there is, there is hope. I found it hopeful uh, with, a, with, with, with a team that wanted to help me with my disability journey. Joining DAXA team means I get to help other people have the positive experience. DAXA uh, wants to help you. Uh, we are willing to listen to your story and help you navigate your options with a Royal Commission. Thank you. Thanks, Elliot. Um, what Elliot said is true. It can be really empowering to tell your story, um, but it can be challenging and, and sometimes overwhelming. And I guess one of the most critical roles that that can play um, if you like assistance to engage with Royal Commission is not only to form your submission with you, but to connect you with really useful servers. So for the DRC, you have access to free legal and counselling services in South Australia. Nationally, the provider for legal services is Your Story Disability Legal Support. For counselling, it's Blue Knot Foundation, but in South Australia, you have access to Number War and Yun TSA, but also Relationships Australia SA. And we're lucky enough to have Lucy Lovelock here to explain um, the services that Relationships Australia SA can provide and how it works. So go for it, Lucy. Hi, everyone. Thanks very much, Maggie. My name's Lucy Lovelock. I'm the manager of the service here at Relationships Australia, South Australia. And the service is called Counselling and Support for People Affected by the Disability Royal Commission. So this service started in December last year and we have been operating now for about seven months. People are eligible for counselling service with us if they are engaged with the Disability Royal Commission. So that can be people who have already provided a submission to the Royal Commission or for people who are wanting to submit uh, an application. It's also available for people who have been affected by the Disability Royal Commission as well. So this can be a person with disability, it can be one of their family members, or it could be their carer or their support worker is able to access counselling support. We have a team of five counsellors who provide the counselling all across South Australia. So we are able to have counselling sessions either face to face or over the phone or via video conferencing. And we are also travelling to regional locations uh, once we are able to after the COVID-19 outbreak. We also have a triage and assessment case manager and this person is the person who answers your phone calls when you call through with an inquiry or if somebody calls on your behalf. We use Auslan interpreters as well as telephone interpreting services for people who speak other languages and we also use TTY as a service too. And the team of counsellors are based at our Hindmarsh office. Here it's about 10 minutes out from Adelaide, but we are able to come and visit you right across South Australia. All of our counsellors have different skill sets and they all use different therapeutic counselling approaches to work with you. And that will be based on what your need is and what it, what you consider um, your goals for the counselling are as well. And the counsellor will make sure that they are quite specific and adapt those to what you're looking for. All of our counsellors have come with different work experience and they all specialise in different areas of working with clients with different needs. So we will make sure that we provide you with the most suitable counsellor based on your situation. And we also have male counsellors available for you too. If you're wanting to inquire about our services or refer yourself or refer somebody else, you can call our phone number, which is 1800 577 571.
or you can email us at drccounsellingsa at rasa.org.au. The service that's available for counselling is called a medium term service. And this is where it's available across the next two years. So there's no uh, minimum or a maximum amount of sessions that you're able to access. We just have the service available for the next two years whilst the Royal Commission continues um, to do their investigations and uh, you're able to access the service as much or as little as you require during that time. All the work we do from our counsellors is trauma informed and they have experience working with people who have experienced violence, abuse, neglect and exploitation. And they all have experience working with people with disability. This also includes working with children with disability. We run art therapy as well as therapeutic um, sessions one-on-one -on -one with clients and we also provide group sessions where there may be people who have gone through a similar experience to you or have the same disability as you or a family member who has um, been affected in the same way. So those group sessions are like a peer support group facilitated by our counsellors uh, where you're able to access support in a group setting. We are also able to come to your homes or to your place of work, or we can meet you at a community centre or a library and provide the counselling support to you there. We use different forms of communication depending on what the needs of that individual uh, are, the clients are. We use communication boards, all the counsellors are trained in using talking mats and we've been trained by people with lived experience to communicate with people with disability across a variety of disabilities. Once we have received your referral, either from yourself or from someone else referring for you, the triage and assessment case manager will contact you to complete a series of questions that they will ask you about your particular situation and then we will allocate you to a counsellor. And that counsellor is able to meet with you on a fortnightly or monthly basis and provide support to you, as I said, either face-to-face -face in person, over the phone or via video link as well. We also complete a risk assessment with you and this is to ensure how safe you are at the moment in your current environment and what concerns and risks you have in your day-to-day -day life. We will do that with you and we, well, we can do it in a number of ways. It is a written form, but it can be completed electronically and it can also be completed in writing. And we also use picture cards to complete as well. So there's a variety of ways that we can support you to do that. So if, you would like to refer yourself or someone else to this service, please call our hotline on 1800 577 571 or email us at drccounsellingsa at rasa.org.au. Thanks, Maggie. Thank you, Lucy. Look, I think it's so cool that uh, our services are very much aligned in the way that we would like to assist you to engage in the Royal Commission. We're excited to come and visit you. We want to provide you with assistance that meets your needs. Both of our services know that advocacy and counselling looks differently for everyone because everyone is different. And everyone will go on an individual advocacy and individual counselling journey when they engage with the DRC. And we're very excited to provide you with the assistance to feel heard, believed and empowered if you decide to make a submission to the DRC. So you can contact DAXA on 71226030 and speak with an advocate. You can also visit our website, daxa.org.au, and you can email us at admin at daxa.org.au. I'll make sure you have all of the contact details for both of our services that you need on the screen, as well as some other resources that can assist you to make a decision and to explore your options for engaging with the DRC.
If we haven't answered some of your questions today, make sure you get in touch with either of us or all of us. And we hope to assist you uh, to engage with the Disability Royal Commission.